The camera angle may fool you a little bit, but uh, yeah, I'm sitting about 38 inches. Well, I'm a little further than that. This is a 38 inch depth case holding over a petabyte of storage. This is the Storinator by 45 Drives, their XL60 model. I've reviewed previously their Q30 model, which is actually running behind me right now, and you can't hear it because it's living up to the Q in its name, which is quiet. This is a bigger version of that. I'll leave a link to that video where I took it a little bit more apart than I'm gonna take this one. But today I wanna to go over the specs. Now, one thing you may have already noticed, there's a little bit of blue tape over there. One of the really cool things that 45 Drives does is brand each one of these if you request it. And you know, I have mine branded, it looks really great. But the uh, faceplate, the customer did ask that they not be in the video despite finding us from YouTube. But hey, if you're watching, here's your server getting ready to be delivered. And they uh, told us they plan on getting a few more and it's gonna be really nice seeing them all with the logos in there but hey, a lot of companies are very private about you know where they shop which is perfectly fine and acceptable but that's just so you are all clear on the blue tape but you don't really care what name is under there what you're probably here for is how do you set up 60 drives well you're in luck i have a video already on how to set them up i've done actually a couple videos with this particular machine we're going to dive more so into these specs and the fact that this will be running true nas and uh, some of the advantages of the 45 drive system here which we really like and hey Hey, I'm not the only one who likes it. They're a pretty popular product. Before we dive into these details, if you want to learn more about me and my company, head over to lawrencesystems.com. If you'd like to hire sure a project, such as setting up storage and storage consulting, there's a hire us button right at the top. If you want to support this channel in other ways, there's affiliate links down below to get you deals and discounts on products and services we talk about on this channel. First thing I want to talk about is the sound. This is not the Q model I reviewed before. This device has 73 decibels in the rear and about 67 decibels in the front. So it's not super quiet, but then again, it's really meant to be in the data center usage and that's not that big of a deal to me. It's got to move a lot of air to keep all those drives cool. Next, we have dual power supplies consuming about 566 watts on average because yes, it takes quite a bit to power all of those drives. Next, we have the Super Micro X11 SPL-F motherboard. This is one of the nice things about 45 drives is they're using a standard motherboard. There's nothing proprietary or unusual about this system. And this allows you, if you ever wanted to swap it with a different board or even acquire one of their chassis in the raw, you can do that. The only thing custom is essentially the case and the back plane that they have included in there. Now, the Super Micro does have the IPMI management, kind of the standard one there, and it works great. So that's nice for lights out management on there. Next, we have the processor, which is Intel Xeon Silver 4216 CPU at 2.1 gigahertz, 256 gigs of ECC DDR4 memory. And then we have four SAS 9305-16i HPA controllers connected to that custom backplane that 45 drives made. This is to control all of the drives. There is no RAID controller card. They're referred to as HBA host bus adapters because ZFS, which we're running TrueNAS on this, wants to interact directly with the drives. So this is essentially a way to connect just 60 hard drives to the system. It does not perform any of the actual RAID functions, just the connectivity. Speaking of drives, we have 60 Seagate Exos 18 terabyte enterprise drives. And this is all toolless when these are put in, so they're easy to take and slide in and out and go in there and lock in. There's no actual lock to hold them in other than the top of the lid, but hopefully you're not turning this thing upside down and holding it really stable. So they don't seem to go anywhere. Gravity does its job, plus they have holders and guides to keep them really tight and in place. Then in the back, we have a pair of mirrored boot drives for our TrueNAS. And of course, all this is delivered and connected with an Intel XXV710-DA2 25 gig network adapter. And of course, the final question is, how much does all of this cost? And let's talk pricing here. You can go right over to 45 Drive's website and price it out. Build and price it yourself if you're curious. The hard drives are going to be one of the bigger cost concerns. And yeah, that's actually most of the cost of this total unit overall. Now let's talk software. This has TrueNAS 12.0 U6 core on here. The client requested TrueNAS because, well, it's an interface they're familiar with, they're familiar with setting it up, and it's easy to manage. I think TrueNAS works really, really well on this. I've had no issues at all with all the 
storage testing I've done and all the other videos I've done with this. And I see other videos because one of the things that comes into discussion is if we start looking at the pool status, you'll see the way I've got the different VDEVs broke out. I'll link to the other video where I use this server to kind of explain how you lay out 60 drives and the pros and cons of different layouts. There's not like a single answer to this question. There's the optimal answer for the way you want to use your storage pools and the efficiencies that you're looking for. A few other people had asked me why there weren't more hot spares set up in here. And because the people are admins themselves that are going to be using this and they're very technical. We're not too worried about the hot spare situation. They'll just have extra drives. And if a drive fails, they'll just swap it out kind of as needed. They really want it to optimize for the most reliable large scale storage possible for just lots of data sets that they have that they really need for the project that they're working on. So this will actually be connected to a series of systems over SMB shares just to pile in a lot of data. It's not supposed to be the absolute fast fastest storage. It's all about very reliable, very trustworthy storage and lots of it. So that's kind of the reason why it's laid out like it is. And overall, 724 terabytes usable with RAID Z2, allowing us each one of these VDEVs to have up to a couple failures of drives is pretty reasonable. And that's a pretty good storage base overall, I would say. As I said in the beginning, we purchased all this for a client project. That project's going to be delivered really soon. Not all projects actually get to pass through here. Sometimes we directly will spec out order or the client will do the ordering and everything gets installed and we work on it 100% remotely. I was happy that this one had some time here at our office so we could actually do some testing with it. Now, whether we get it directly delivered to a client or whether it's here it's always a great idea to do a little bit of burn-in testing. Leave it running for a little while before you put your production data on it and dump massive amounts of dummy data to it. You want to see if there's any CRC errors in the drive. You want to see if there's any problems. There rarely is, but I would much rather catch that while I'm just duplicating a whole lot of dummy data and making sure all the transfers go through than, well, in production, you go, oh, wow, we turned it on and there's some problems. And this is one thing a little bit different that you'll do compared to maybe some of the other solutions when you buy them from a company that does the testing for you because we installed all the drives ourselves. It comes shipped with the drives in separate boxes. We like to do that little bit of extra testing to make sure that there's no errors on there. Obviously, the first one is, does it detect all the drives? That's the obvious. But just to make sure that none of those backplanes, anything's loose and anything happened in shipping. When things get moved around, things can happen. And once again, even when we take it from here uh, to deliver it to the client site, we'll do a series of tests real quick, make sure that nothing is loose, nothing came to be a problem at all, double check all the settings, and then it will be in the rack and running for years to come and hopefully never have a failure. But if they do, as I said, they got plenty of redundancy on those drives. So hopefully you found this interesting about what it takes to build a whole petabyte of storage in here and how much usable storage you get out of that. I'll leave links to the other videos. And of course, I will leave a link to my video where I did a little bit more take apart of the Q30 model, which is that quiet model, that Storinator that uh, we're still using. And this video is edited on that works really great. And uh, thanks and see you in the forums. And thank you for making it all the way to the end of this video. If you've enjoyed the content, please give us a thumbs up. If you would like to see more content from this channel, hit the subscribe button and the bell icon. If you'd like to hire a short project, head over to lawrencesystems.com and click the Hire Us button right at the top. To help this channel out in other ways, there's a join button here for YouTube and a Patreon page where your support is greatly appreciated. For deals, discounts, and offers, check out our affiliate links in the description of all of our videos, including a link to our shirt store where we have a wide variety of shirts that we sell and designs come out, well, randomly, so check back frequently. And finally, our forums. Forums.lawrencesystems.com is where you can have a more in-depth discussion about this video and other tech topics covered on this channel. Thanks again for watching and look forward to hearing from you.